All right, so this is just going to be a quick video to kind of give you a tour of this Pearl River 45-inch uh, studio upright piano. So one of the good things about this piano is that it has a pretty decent action inside. And that's all the pieces between the key and when the hammer actually hits the string to make the sound. So you don't have to worry about those roadblocks. If you want to do a fast run, you're going to be able to do that on this piano. It's, it's a little bit harder on the cheaper pianos. Uh, so for example, you could do just like... Well, here we have a view from the back of the piano. Um, you can see all the different ribs and the soundboard here. And one of the big problems with trying to buy a piano, especially a cheap piano on Craigslist that's old, is that it's gone through so many years of changing humidity. And what that does is the humid times, like the summer, moisture gets into the soundboard pores and it expands the wood. And then in the winter when the humidity is really low and it's very dry, it contracts again. So all that expanding and contracting of the soundboard uh, eventually will just make tears and cracks. And that dulls the tone. You want one complete whole soundboard to be able to resonate with the strings inside the piano to make a, a, a tone that makes it sound like a good musical instrument. And what we have here, um, this is a perfect condition soundboard. There are zero cracks. Um, you can see it, everything is still intact. And that's really good. And one of the reasons for that uh, is because there's a professionally installed humidity control system uh, inside the piano uh, that we'll talk about in a few seconds. Underneath the piano, on these hooks, what you can take out is a tube. And there's also a sensor right here that has a water notification light. And what this does is in those winter months when the humidity is really low and it's very dry, um, it actually can humidify inside the piano. And all you have to do is take this treatment solution, take one cap full of this and add it to one pitcher of this water filled up to the red line, when that water light goes on, you just pour it down this tube. And that's going to be able to stock the piano with everything it needs to be able to keep the humidity up. So one really great feature of this piano is that it has a practice pedal. And uh, it's the middle pedal and what that does is it puts a piece of felt between all the hammers and the strings so it actually has more of a muted tone. Uh, so if you're practicing like your hand and exercises, that can get a little bit monotonous. So you actually have a way to, to mute the sound. So you can still exercise your fingers. Maybe you live in an apartment or you just want to make less noise when you're practicing exercises. Uh, you can use this pedal and it has more of like a cool muted tone. So here we go. Here's without the pedal and with the pedal. That's with the pedal. Um, a way to push it down and then slide it to the left so you can lock it in place so you don't have to worry about having to hold it down the whole time you're practicing so I just locked it in place now we can practice piano exercises without making a ton of uh, annoying noise another thing to look for when you're shopping for pianos on Craigslist is that all the strings are in fact in the piano here's where we have the two string unisons and then the three string unisons up here in the treble bridge. Uh, so you'll see that there are no broken strings or anything that needs to be replaced. Uh, so any piano you buy in Craigslist, you want to check for that and make sure that it has all the strings and all the hammers are intact. Make sure everything, everything works. Um, the other thing to look for is the condition of the pin block. And it, and it holds uh, the pins in place so the pins don't detune. And some pianos, um, especially older used pianos, will have a weaker pin block. Uh, so if your piano tuner wants to tune your piano, these pins are going to start sliding out of place way too soon. Uh, so the piano won't even be able to hold a tune. So what you want to make sure is that your piano actually does have a strong pin block. And the way that you can tell, one indication is that the strings are off of the plate. And this part right here is the plate. This is the, um, the cast iron plate. 
Um, so what happens is when the when the piano tuning pins get loose, a tuner will hammer them in farther into the wood so the wood grips the pins better. Uh, but after you do that so many times, um, you'll notice that the not on this piano, but on other pianos, maybe the strings will be pushed right up to the plate. So you can't even hammer it in anymore. And that's an indication that the, the pin block is starting to wear out. So that's something to look for when you're when you're doing your piano shopping too. This has a, a very new pin block, so you're not gonna see any of that happening here. So we've taken all the keys out of the piano, and this is an important thing to look for. Um, if you do have the opportunity to check this out, I highly recommend it. You can see that this, here's the key bed. The key bed is completely clean, and very importantly, it is free of any mouse droppings or mouse homes that have been made in here. Um, I work in a piano workshop, and you would not believe how many pianos come in. And the mice have just chewed these uh, felt punchings and made little nests in here, and there's just like covered with mouse poop. So this is completely clean piano, and it's always been kept in a clean house, so you don't have to worry about any kind of uh, potential disease-carrying mouse uh, droppings that me might be lurking in there. Uh, not always the case with older pianos uh, on Craigslist if they haven't been always kept in a clean house.